what we are building, uh, it's called Porta. Uh, previously we called it UAE Export, which was difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Platform connected agri entrepreneurs in food producing countries with affluent buyers in developed markets. Basically, we help small guys in in these markets around Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, uh, Indonesia. So we help them to launch brands, and we launch in the U.S. market, the first market. So right now, as you know, the world is not really fair because you have these very, say, poor guys who earn one, less than one dollar per day. And on the other hand, you have big corporations that control most of the food they eat. Food is not always healthy, right? The company is big, they have access to capital, but they get not really much in research and uh, development. So the discrepancy is really big. On the other hand, you have a huge market of agri-food, which is about 9 trillion. It's the oldest market of global trade, international trade. But it's changing right now. One of the biggest changers is Amazon, of course. If you look at their numbers, in terms of categories here, sorry for uh, font is very little, but the food and beverage takes 40% the biggest growth since they have bought Whole Foods and they are moving forward because food is something we need every day, right? So we came with a mission to help small guys in emerging markets to launch international brands and uh, to get them what they actually deserve. Not forgetting about consumer consumers because we want consumers to live long and healthier lives and uh, that's why we focus specifically on the products that appeal to the healthier trends needs in the new US, which is the biggest sell market for the consumers to start. Uh, the landscape of companies is pretty big. We, we want to be in the center, but our difference is we want to specialize on the small and medium enterprises because they really need help, right? And help them to launch internationally. So, uh, as you see, we connect these food commodity markets, these high purchase markets. Uh, we focus on data analytics, uh, we help with design creativity, we help with food certification, we do it already. Uh, we outsource processing. It's, if you have Mango or Apple, you can find where you can do a private level locally. If you, you develop marketing, packaging, everything with the US, you have a team, but you do it also locally. And then you can launch it. 95% uh, of the industry still operates in a traditional way. So people build factories, they think of companies center strategy, building factories first and then uh, trying to get on the shelf locally, traditional way. It takes many years, it's really painful, low margins, especially in the foods. So what we do, we focus what consumer needs in the biggest market. If you take an apple mango, might be that, uh, for example, apple chips or apple, or apple puree, right? Some products that have much higher margin. If you take the lowest cost and build the product that the consumer in the best market can pay, the margin is really high. So we launch and we focus, we start in Amazon and then focus on building direct to consumer brands where we actually we reach to the consumer directly who can pay the most. It actually, I should mention, it takes it one less than one uh, than a year to launch a brand. So probably about six, uh, seven months. So. Um, how to finance this? We came with we tested different forms of finance and launch of the brands, and uh, most often uh, <coughs> producers they didn't have money to start. So to start a brand, minimum you need fifteen thousand dollars. That's uh, having the product finished in a very nice package in the U.S. with uh, two pallets, right? It's still a lot of money for the producer in Thailand or Vietnam. So we said, okay, we might invite investor who would take twenty percent in the brand. And also, we give entrepreneur in Thailand the opportunity to participate in the equity in each of the brands we build. Porta would still have control in the, in, in the brands. Porta would still have control and we do all the work from A to Z, building everything. We did it already and we'll, we'll, we're looking to automate this process. So we have a very international team, also we are a startup, but there are many people that think same way. They're, they share our mission. We have people from uh, who worked for Walmart, who, who right now in Stanford, who did work in the Tetra Pak. We have some people from South Asia, Sakin is my partner here. We have a CTO who is German. And uh, we have some more members. Right now we launched a few brands already. Uh, we have uh, some other companies in pipeline in, from South Asia, besides as a consulting business, but we are going into uh, launching the product and automating the process. 
so we are right now looking to raise some money. We are at the first stage right now, still building cases, launching products and brands internationally in the US. Right now we're raising 500K. Here in Singapore, we are building a holding company, which will be the center. The other companies we have already in the US, Ukraine, we'll have a company in Vietnam. Next we are going to Vietnam trade show. We raised money from Singaporean investor before coming here. Uh, we already have entrepreneur plus, so which is big plus. And we have we've been also accepted to Antler, which is a accelerator program. So right now we have the program in Antler, and uh, we're looking to raise 500 from investors who can help also not only money, but somebody who works in supply chain, agri food processing, or e-commerce, international trade. Thank you very much. We welcome uh, all questions. Anyone got any questions? Uh, before questions, I'd like to add that, uh, hi, my name is Saken. I'm actually Taiwanese, grew up in Japan, so in the US. Uh, but the thing I wanted to add is that we're not only just looking for capital, we're also looking for strategic partnerships. We really want to work with uh, people that can help us kind of expand uh, our kind of our market in Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Indonesia, who actually knows maybe these producers, agri-food producers, or maybe manufacturers. Uh, those are the type of people we really want to help. So if anyone has those kind of uh, resources or contacts, we really appreciate that. Thank you.